Hello and welcome, Cabbage here. We are back in Dark Souls Remastered. This is a, a new build, new account. And I'll show off a few bosses that I beat uh, yesterday, I think it was. Uh, but this is a, a Dexterity uh, Pyromancer build. My uh, first playthrough was Sorcerer. I had never done that, playing uh, Dark Souls 3. And I had also never done either Dexterity or Pyromancer, so I saw the chance to uh, kind of experience two things here. And we're going against uh, Sif first. I got the uh, Silver Knight armor. <laughs> and then one kind of uh, broken thing that I uh, found in my research was that uh, Pyromancy in Dark Souls 1 here, uh, there's kind of no limitations to it. You can add Pyromancy to almost anything. So it's kind of broken in that sense. So I thought while I was here, I would experience that. All right, we'll do the uh, poison cloud. See if that takes. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> and then uh, the the pyromancies that I have chosen for this fight uh, are not very good. I didn't come here thinking I was going to fight the boss, but I went in anyway. Uh, but I only have one kind of attack uh, pyromancy, that's this uh, big fireball. So we'll use these up and then uh, we'll do melee for the rest of the fight. Okay, that took. Okay, that also took. And that took, alright. Uh, so, let's switch over to the Uchigatana. I've been liking that. For short swords, I've been using the uh, the Balder uh, side sword, I think it's called. That took some hours of farming to uh, get the drop. <laughs> but mostly it's been with the uh, Uchigatana. And then I have a couple great swords. I have the uh, Zweihander. And I have the um, the one that the big skeleton guys use. I forget what it's called. But mostly I've been using the, uh, the one-handed swords. And I uh, upgraded my uh, Pyromancy hand to level 10. And then that unlocked the, uh, the Pyromancer down in the... Uh, what is it? In the depths. In order to learn the, uh, the better Pyromancies. And I went through the Painted World, I got the uh, Pyromancers there. So yeah, it's been fun. Uh, playing the game with Pyromancers is also easy mode. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just wanted to see like what they do. Just collect them, try them out, see if they're any fun. Uh, but yeah, this fight's mostly going to be melee. But uh, Sif is not too hard. Just kind of get close to him and, yeah, do the attacks. <laughs> Alright, there he goes. Okay, next, let's look at uh, Centipede Demon. And then I already went through and then uh, cut off his tail, got the ring that lets you walk on lava, and then died. So this will be a, a later fight. Uh, Sif was first try. If I were to go back in there, I would do more uh, kind of like uh, fireball spells, and then maybe uh, power within. But I managed to get the clear there. Uh, but yeah, with the uh, centipede demon, we'll run to this uh, kind of open area where the uh, lava won't damage me. And then I did the, uh, the power within self buff to raise my attack value, but also slowly drain my HP. And then that kind of long arm extension attack is probably the most uh, most threatening. So I should get in closer. <laughs> yeah, just like with Sif, if we can kind of sit under them, then uh, that makes them less dangerous. Alright, so we're here. We'll attack the legs. Uh, but unlike Sif, this uh, centipede demon is going to have some uh, attacks that can hit us very close. Like there's a uh, jump up there. Uh, he's got a stomp. 
when his HP gets low enough, he will have a uh, kind of a AoE sort of pink cloud attack, I think it is. Uh, but yeah, run in, get a couple hits, run out. And then I'm actually not going to target uh, the centipede demon. I found it was easier to do uh, without targeting. Or the lock-on, rather. And I still have the uh, the power within self buff. Okay, there's that uh, AoE. And uh, if you cut off uh, certain appendages, they will become like uh, mini bosses. <laughs> so I'm trying not to hit anything but his uh, legs. Uh, but yeah, by uh, keeping close to the legs and then uh, running away at the right time. Can't really damage us too much. Okay, there goes Centipede Demon. Uh, I also beat uh, Bed of Chaos, but that's a uh, bullcrap fight, as I'm sure you're aware. <laughs> okay, and then I'll show you uh, Ornstein and Ornstein and Smo. I beat this one earlier, but I also showed this off in another video lately, so I'll put it at the end of this video. Uh, but here I'm going to go for uh, taking down Ornstein first with Pyromancies. And then we'll go for the uh, Super Smo in the second part. And my dodging is very bad at the beginning part of this. <laughs> okay, but yeah, throw what Pyromancies I have. I eventually run out and then have to uh, do a melee on Ornstein. Uh, we'll skip ahead here. And there goes Ornstein. We'll get the uh, cinematic for the Super Smo, but we'll skip that. Let's try to uh, heal here. And then uh, here too, we'll uh, use the Power Within self buff. Very powerful for Pyromancer. I'm going to use it for all the bosses going ahead. <laughs> and then we'll switch to uh, two hands for the uh, Uchigatana. Because I'm not going to need the uh, shield for the rest of this fight. And yeah, lots of damage there. And I think I got uh, bleed damage in there as well. Yeah, we can see that uh, spray of blood. I think that's what that is. Okay, and much quicker uh, clear there. Uh, as compared to my uh, previous one. And that felt good because my uh, first clear of this, the uh, kind of the Super Ornstein sort of froze and I was able to uh, do free damage on them. This was more of a real clear, so yeah, happy to show this off. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.